I'm Joanne Taff, Editor-in-Chief of TN Forums and Forum, and I'm delighted to have with me Omar Alisil, Director of AI Ops, Managed Networks, NTT Limited. Welcome to DCW. Hi, Joanne. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for taking the, the time to talk to us. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about your role at NTT, and then maybe talk a little about how you're using AI and ML in your operations? Sure. Uh, so, I mean, we at NTT, we, we, we are all about networking, so we uh, help our customers in networking as a service plus all other uh, related areas and my specific focus on, on the managed campus networks. Mm -hmm. So helping really clients who have uh, campus networks and who'd like to uh, leverage our uh, expertise in managing and operating their network day in and day out. Mm -hmm. So you're working directly with enterprises? Yes, that's right, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we have all, all sort of enterprises in different verticals, uh, uh, hospitality, entertainment, retail, corporate, uh, healthcare, and so on. So does what you do, is it dictated largely by their demands? I mean, or do you have a specific focus? Yeah, I mean, um, so so what, what we offer is um, a full managed service uh, for our clients' networks. And uh, for us to, to do that, it's mostly an outcome-based service. So mm -hmm. our clients expect from us to leverage the latest and greatest technologies and the latest trends in the market. And this is what really differentiates us, is to be able to, to look at what's around, and that's my specific roles in, in, in the AI ops, to see how can we leverage AI and automation into modernizing the way we deliver services to our clients. Our clients would expect a consistent, uh, an efficient and a high quality way to manage and operate their networks. So what are you working on at the moment or what sort of areas of innovation are interesting you particularly? Yeah, in the past few years we uh, looked at the way we deliver the service to our clients and we uh, launched a new offer which is underpinned by a platform uh, so it's a platform-based delivery with a global uh, delivery center uh, that allows us to leverage uh, AI and automation at a scale. Uh, unlike in the uh, previous world where uh, every delivery used to be bespoke, we are trying to bring everything on this centralized platform. And we, we've been busy building this, uh, this platform and onboarding our clients on this platform uh, to leverage the capabilities that we uh, embedded in, in each and every layer of the platform. So the, really the platform gives us ability to use uh, AI at a scale, use automation at a scale, uh, uh, reduce the manual effort, improve the quality, reduce the incidents, reduce the outages, and all of that. And at the, the top of that is uh, what matters to our clients is to have visibility on what's going on in the network. So we also put in that platform a layer of analytics and uh, uh, like a portal which exposes to our operators and the customers alike uh, information about what's happening in the network, what's happening in the service, what is the net network performance, and the ability to drill down into each and every detail in, in the network. And have you had to adapt the platform for different verticals, or is it the same platform regardless of which sector? It's, it's the same platform for, for different sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, the data coming from the network is pretty much yeah. the same. Uh, and we built the platform from day one thinking about being multi-vendor and being technology agnostic, which, will, which is really what allows us to operate at a scale because you will not have two networks that are similar. And if you want to bespoke and customize your delivery for each and every network, you will not be able to scale. Mm -hmm. uh, so we built it in a way from day one to try to templatize basically the, uh, the, the information, the data model mm -hmm. uh, in a way uh, that makes it really irrelevant for whether it is coming from network or A, network B, vertical A, vertical B. What have been some of the biggest challenges? Uh, I think, uh, I mean, talking about uh, AI ops and automation, obviously, in mean, biggest challenges uh, in terms of uh, uh, technology is uh, be able to, to, to leverage the data that is coming from the network. So now with the evolution and keeping up with the changes uh, of, of the networks, the, every device is throwing tons of uh, data uh, to, to you. And mm -hmm. to be able to leverage it is, is, is a challenge. Um, and, but that's what makes then 
if you are able to do it right, that what differentiate uh, differentiates you. So to uh, to to build about this and thinking about how you can close the loop. Uh, uh, so not only that you want to automatically detect the incident and automatically correlate and things like that, but you also want to uh, associate it with an automated uh, workflow that you want to trigger. And that's what allows you then to close the loop and move a step closer to these autonomous networks. Um, how far are you along in um, terms of automation? Yeah, so today uh, we have around 80% of the uh, incidents and tickets that we, we get from the networks are automatically resolved okay. uh, by s different means of uh, uh, triggering workflows, uh, uh, triggering automated playbooks mm -hmm. that is going to clear or trigger a, a set of action to resolve mm -hmm. the issue. So we're really making good progress in that, moving, I mean, 80% and the goal is to move closer to 100% over the next few years. What are some of the obstacles to that last 20%? Um, I think uh, the, the the variations in 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 um, different networks is uh, uh, one of the obstacle. Um, the uh, other obstacle is more, I think. Uh, uh, so we know we all know the challenges are te technology, process, and people, and people are the biggest challenge in, in every transformation. So really, it is basically to uh, to get. Uh, to gain trust from people, whether it is our operators or our clients alike, to be able to go and trigger uh, events that is going to change things in the network, right? So it is that sort of uh, trust, basically. And uh, it's not only in, in trust in this set of action, but what's surrounding it, right? What needs to happen before, what needs to happen after, how it is aligned with the overall processes of the organization. That, in my view, is the biggest challenge now. Which is, again, that classic human sort of... Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. And in, in terms of um, customers from campus networks, how big a differentiating factor is sort of um, your work in AI and data? Uh, I mean, from what we see and what we hear from our customers, it is, it is a very big differentiator. Every customer customer is now looking at uh, if they want to use an, a managed service provider is how they differ from the traditional managed service provider who is just going to throw uh, people to do manual efforts. Right? Mm -hmm. So they would look at uh, how we are going to deliver the service. Not, not only this is the outcome, but they would be interested in how, what makes you different. And we often, when we have discussion with our clients, they are interested in what AI use cases are we handling, uh, how we are implementing it, uh, real uh, real case examples of uh, how it's helped in the past, what percentages are we getting in the noise reduction between noise and incidents landing at the engineering queue, uh, what percentage are we getting in proactive versus reactive tickets. So they would be interested in looking into all those of metrics because I think everyone is having their North Star, which is autonomous networks, but it will not happen overnight. And in order to move to autonomous networks, we need to implement uh, imp automation and AI ops close together. So AI to help you to detect, to correlate, to cluster, to classify, to identify the root cause, and then identify which automation you are going to trigger to resolve that, mm -hmm. that incident. And uh, it is a big differentiator. I think it is uh, it's it's now uh, no longer nice to have. Yes. It is a must to have for any uh, managed service provider to operate and manage networks at a scale. Do you think what you'll be able to offer customers will have changed much? Uh, I think we 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 have plans for the next 36 months already. It is I mean the roadmap is packed. There are a lot of things to do. Uh, we started implementing as I mentioned I mean uh, a few years back, uh, but. The technology is changing every day, uh, whether it is the underlying technology that is throwing data. Mm -hmm. And if a vendor is bringing a new technology and a new AI feature, you better use it, right? Because, again, the, your customers are buying those infrastructure and they would expect you to leverage that latest technology. So it is a constant change. It is not that's something that we will build and then rest and do nothing, just operate. We'll have to keep adopting new technologies, keep changing, keep updating our uh, methodologies, our platform and tools. Thank you very much for your time. It's very interesting. Thank, Thank you, Joanne. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Thank, Thank you. you.